Heated Savannah City Council meeting. Council members going back and forth trying to decide if a restaurant lounge should be given a license to sell alcohol. This was for the owners of the crew lounges second time appearing for the council with the same request. The first time was also contentious. Our Camille Syed joins us now outside of Savannah City Hall. Camille, tell us about the tension at the meeting today. Mike Don, well, Crew Lounge would have been located in Alderwoman Linda Wilder Bryan's district. That's District 3. And she says residents living in that area she's spoken to don't want a lounge selling liquor in their community. Now, on the other hand, Alderwoman Keisha Gibson Carter says she feels like the applicants were not treated fairly, considering this is their second time asking for a liquor license when she says they've met all the necessary criteria. Now, at the city council meeting today, the council voted to deny the request by Brittany O'Deal in a five to four vote. That's after they tabled the vote on the liquor license in July of last year. O'Neill was asked to reapply and today they said and today they said they checked all the boxes they had to be eligible for the license. O'Neill said they spent roughly $330,000 so far on several things like fees in order to get Crew Lounge up and running. Alderwoman at large Keisha Gibson Carter claimed the applicants had so many hurdles to jump through because they're a black owned business. Mayor Van Johnson cut Gibson Carter and Wilder Bryan off saying their comments were inappropriate. We have never, since I've been sitting at this post, I have never witnessed an individual or business be held to as high of a standard as these individuals have been. <coughs> Additionally, they have done above and beyond what is required. Of the residents of the third district, they were in opposition. I've been working in this community for the last three years. And I was not going to say anything, but to say that I'm against black businesses when the Alderman Large has denied at least three black businesses who um, apply. All the women, all the women. That is so not true. All the women, that's inappropriate as well. We're, we're moving on. Now, the applicants did not want to speak with me on camera. I did talk to their lawyer who said they own several crew lounges in Atlanta. And as you can imagine, they're very disappointed after tonight's vote. Reporting live in Savannah, Camille Syed, WTOC News.